Today on Big Air TV, we're going to talk about a Big Air Vapor installation. Today is a 2018 Vapor Tower. We've had a few revisions over the years, and so it's time to do an updated video. And some of the notable things we're going to talk about today is a slightly changed stance, running about a 66 inch front to back. We have what we call our hidden connections, which is really cool for Big Air Towers. You cannot see the connection here, it's hidden inside. Very easy to install, but stealth, if you will. We'll run single bolt mounts, of course, so that's really gives you that more OEM look and great support inside. This one particularly happens to be black uh, powder coat, but you can get them in polished or anodized also. And the integrated nav capability, LED or standard incandescent. So come along with us today as we install this 2018 Vapor Tower on this customer's boat. All right, what we've got here is our Vapor Tower laid out. Basically, as you're gonna unbox it, just kind of touch on some of the parts real quick. We've got our bottom bars there. We have our corners, our rear legs, and our front legs, and our H member over there in our parts box. And of course, the instructions. The parts box is full of miscellaneous hardware as that goes. And it's, it should be noted, this is the uh, more current rev, a 2018 rev of the Vapor. Even in X, you'll have the corners separate from the legs there. The older revisions actually had these two together, uh, and so that's the only change there. And then X, and a vapor, the only difference there would be in the H, and I'll show that to you later on, but it's such a simple thing. Um, but it's a custom H for an X. But short of that, this is what you're gonna find in your box. So let's get the bottom bars and the, and the mounts onto the boat, and we'll go from there. All right, we're ready to install the bottom bar for this vapor, or it could have been an X tower also on this boat. Step one, where do I wanna put my tower at? Um, that's a big question, a lot of times it's critical to get the proper look. And, and let's be honest, installing a tower and the way it looks is very important. A, a bad location really affects, and in our opinion, makes for not a great looking tower application sometimes. So at Big Air, we've got a trick for you, or a tool, if you will. It's called our tower visualizer. If you go to our front page, or our tower page, you'll find a link to it there. Or you should see on the screen right now, a link to the tower visualizer. This particular customer actually used that to help him find the exact location. And what we found out is that it needed to be very close to this handrail and had the proper look and we were able to fit in the parameters of handrails and windshield alignments and we used it. So now that we know where we wanted, we had to check inside the interior. A vapor has approximately 66 inches from center to center mount and so we had to go in there and check and make sure that it was clear. It was. So then the next step, there's several steps along here that we have to do, is to actually true up the boat and find out where true square is. And so there's a video, you should see a link on there that's from our site also, that's gonna tell you how to properly measure your boat and get square on it. And that way you're lined up equidistantly, if you will. The video will explain more, but check out the link. All right, now we've done that. The next step that we're gonna actually need to do is to go in here and actually drill and put the hole in place. So I know where this is, I know I have 66 inches. This boat actually has a little radius here, a negative radius, so we're dealing with that, but it's a very thick fiberglass. And so we were able to go ahead and drill through and we're gonna use the extra, you get extra gaskets, some are concave and some are flat with the big air towers. And so we use one of the, we're able to use a flat gasket here uh, and so we have the extra leftover radius gasket and we just cut a little piece out and put it in there and when we when we crank it down and compress it, we'll trim it with a razor blade the excess that comes out there, but this is gonna support us enough, especially due to this thick hole here. So I've got that in place. So the next step I had to do was I've gotta decide where the back is going to go. So what I did was I went and installed the front mount and then I bolted in here. I had a, my mount on there and I let the back mount be the guide to where I should drill the hole. So I had someone come back there and sketch a mark on the boat, and then I knew where to install my back mount at that point. So with that said, I've used all my tools, and now I'm ready to go ahead and hard mount my, my um, bases, and then I'll put my bottom bar on. I'll do the same for the other side, and once again, I always check the interior, and that's the start for getting a Vapor and X-Tower onto your boat. Okay, we've got our bottom bar on. It's a little loose right now because I want to show you a few things. And the first of all, let's talk about what backer plates we have inside here. One is our large rectangular, one is our round one. In this case, since we're really close to this, this um, uh, rail here, we actually chose probably to use the round one. And we might have been able to get up and put this one diagonal, fit the larger rectangular when you can. In the back here, we can do the larger one. Also, one thing I want to point out is as we're adjusting things and getting, we want our, our bottom bar 
fairly vertical. And so I've left everything loose, including my hidden bolt connection right now. And this allows me as I rotate this in and out, my action, my mounts can rotate to find that fit. So I don't want things too tight. Now, when I get it, the position I want, then I'm going to go in, I'm going to tighten all the system up, and then we'll progress upward and build the rest of the tower from that point. So now it's time to go ahead and tighten this up. First thing I need to do is now that my, my bottom bar is, is lined in the vertical fashion, I have to know that I want to come back to this. So as I take the system apart to tighten it, I put a piece of tape, and sometimes you can use a marker, but on a black tower you won't see a Sharpie marker, so I'll use this piece of tape. And when I take the system off, and go to retighten the bolts when I have Loctite on there and lock washers, I'll align this, this piece of tape after the fact and that'll give me a perfect alignment, tighten it up, I can put it right back onto the uh, boats itself. We've made several steps forward. We've tightened up our bottom bar now. We have just, we're just a little past vertical. We've took ours in just a touch for stylistic. You can run straight up, uh, but we want a little taper on ours. Uh, our mounts, are, these are our um, in mounts here. They're not that, they're eye mounts and they're not that tight yet. They're just in place. And then we put them here also. And then we put our swivel on here. And then we put our leg mount here. And we've got all this bolted up loosely. The next step was to actually, we had our two bolt connection connecting our rear leg and our corner together. And then we slid our H member on. Now look here, this little plastic line that comes inside, you can see as I slide it out here. They're for a purpose. They protect the finish and stop from galling or scratching of your tubing going in your H member. So just slide it out, slide the tubing in there, and then you can slide it in there. You can put grease on there too is a good idea. Grease will always clean up after the fact. The more lubristic it is, the better it helps for getting this tower set up. Now, what's important too is this H member had this protective piece in here for shipping. You don't need these folks. They're just for shipping. Take them and throw them in the trash when you're done. So now we've got that. We did the, then we slid the H in, we slid the corner in and connected over there. So now our tower is essentially ready to go up and we're gonna go ahead. Next step will be to go ahead and put our front legs on and we'll raise this thing up and begin to center it and get proper alignment and everything leveled out from there. All right, we've got the tower up now. We've took, took our front leg and our corners, we've assembled those and connected them there. They're slitting using our plastic liners. Now, right now, all I've done is level the boat. And to make sure the boat floor is level, I took several samples and kind of met in the middle there because one will be a little higher, a little low. Split the difference and you'll be okay. Your jack, and if you even had to put a block under a tire, you could do that because you do want to be level this way just for affirmation that you're getting everything right. So with that said, just to kind of show you the difference between an X and a vapor tower. Right now, if I was to go ahead and flip this, um, what I'd have if my head was back up here, this would be an X layout. They, there, it's a uh, additional option for an X, and this is a vapor, but that's how it would actually look. But we're going to go ahead and go back to our proper position here. See how easy it is? And so now what I'll do, I'll get my level and I'll throw it up here. And this one, oops, I'm going the wrong way. Right there is my level. And what I'll do is I'll actually mark my level. I'll probably tie it off. And then the next thing will be to actually pull the corners in. We'll show you that in the next clip here. But I found level, everything's in place. I'll begin, begin to bring the corners in and then we'll drill and secure this tower. Okay, the next step before I actually center my H member is I need a reference point. On a polished tower, I can just make a, shower, a Sharpie mark. Um, on a powder coated tower, I need something different. So what I've done is I basically just went into a point on my two bolt mount reference here and I measure up to about 12 inches and I put a piece of tape there. I've done it here, here, and on each, each, basically each corner there. So now as I slide these in, I can say, okay, well, I'm three and a quarter inches here. And then this one is, oh goodness, about five inches. So I know that I'll need to bring that one in. So as I come on a ratchet, I'll keep my poles equidistant. So it's a real trick for making it and then easily remove it when you're done. As you can tell, we've made a few additions since the last clip. We've added ratchet straps to help us secure the tower. And if you look closely, we actually cheated, went ahead of you, and we've actually drilled and put our bolts in place. When we did that, though, I want to give you a little tip. We put a drop cloth in here to catch the cuttings as they came off the bit so they don't get in your carpet or burn your interior. Very expensive boat interiors, we want to protect those. And drop cloth is a great way to do that. With that said, once we secured the front and the back, we were able to make this tower stop moving before we drilled it and set it level with the floor. 
and then we want to start pulling our corners in. So we use ratchet straps as we tie off to whether it be the head or we can tie off to one of these cross members and pull it in. Note the difference on the blue tape. Here we're about two inches out. Here we're about seven inches out. The reason being is this boat is narrow at the front and wider at the back. A vapor type tower is a very, very strong tower and allows us to fit those different positions and still be very strong. There's some towers on the market that really don't deal well with varying stances. And that's what we like. We got the 66 some inch front to back stance, big, big deal. So with that said, we've, we've got it in place. We drill with a 3 8 3 8 inch bit. Uh, more common. You can get a metric, but 3 8 will work and you can get those in most hardware stores. Uh, our nylocks are in place. We've got them set down. We actually added a nav light to this tower. A very simple installation. We're not going to go into that today, but we're ready to take our ratchet straps off and clean this thing up. Going to give it one more quick shake to show you how strong this thing is. Uh, vapor tower is, is awesome. So let's finish up this installation. Okay, a big thing for a vapor tower, surprising is sometimes how easy it collapses. And so what I've gone is I pulled two bolts right here. There's our hinge lock bolt. They're right up top. Well, I'll throw that one, but anyhow, you get the gist. They're up there. You just simply remove them. And then I don't even have to release or back off my hinge bolts. And I've just backed off a quarter turn back here on my swivels. And I'm coming here and remove these shoulder bolts. It just takes a, a minute. And now I'm going to gently, you can do it by myself. I kind of like doing it with two people, but I've still got it. So I've got that back. Go ahead and bring it back gently. You don't want to tear anything up. I'm going to come down gently, touch my interior, make sure where you contact. And then I can let that come down there. And what a beautiful, beautiful setup for collapsing, getting in and out of your garage. The vapor tower installation is complete. Uh, everything came out great, uh, great tower. Um, we've gone through the important things is that we loctited all our non nylock uh, threads as that goes. It's really important to go through each connection, especially the hidden connections on these towers. It's kind of really cool. Um, the bigger towers don't have what we call Frankenstein anymore. We use a hidden connection so you can't see them, but it's very important that you use Loctite in those to make sure year after year you have a stable tower. Uh, we preloaded like we talked about that. Uh, we've gone to black finish. You could have got this in a, a uh, in a polished finish or an anodized finish. Uh, we love the black. And the vapor tower, once again, is so strong. We run that broad stance. Just any tower, you should be able to just do pull-ups or whatever. I mean, you name it, shake on that thing because you're going to put hundreds of pounds of weight or someone's going to hang on your tower. And there are narrow stance towers out there, folks, that you would have already heard the fiberglass cracking on your boat if that had been the case. And I could have put two or three people on this thing and hung on it would have been fine. Speaker's going to be added, things like that. So that's important to remember. So as we close out Big Air Vapor Tower, you can buy with confidence, buy Big Air.